Insofast insulation versus complexity. The human factor. Both wall systems start out identical. Both methods achieve a high performance wall, including steel studs, fire rated wall board, and a weather resistant barrier. The barrier performs as a protective shell for the building, must meet the latest requirements of the International Building Code for water resistance and vapor permeability. The next step in this process is to assure that the vapor permeability layer functions is to introduce a capillary break between the WRB and the thermal insulation. Insofast builds this function into the panel. Other construction methods incorporate an additional layer by installing a drainage mat or a wrinkle wrap. Special fasteners with plastic washers hold the flat stock foam boards in place. Insofast molded panels have tongue and groove interlocks. This self-flashing feature keeps the water out. Other manufacturers of insulation board, their flat edges, when they intersect, require specialized tapes or sealants to prevent wind-driven rain from penetrating through the insulation barrier. Light gauge hat channel or furring strips is installed to structurally pin the foam board into place. Long metal fasteners puncture through the insulation, drainage mat, the WRB, and the fire rated wall board directly into the structural metal stud. This creates a thermal short circuit of the exterior fastener directly to the building's thermal mass. This connection can degrade the thermal performance of the exterior insulation up to 10%. An R10 is an R9. Too many parts and pieces lead to potential problems on the job site. The human factor. Insofast takes the complexity out of exterior continuous insulation. One panel reduces five trips to the wall and replaces 25 parts and pieces. We mold our drainage channels and non-ferrous studs into the insulation where structural fasteners can be thermally isolated and sealed away from the elements. We engineer insulation in the factory instead of assembling it in the field. Why work so hard? 